So remember, if you want to send me a death threat, they have all my social medias in the link. I wear my heart on my sleeve, nigga. I don't need people gassing me up and lying to my fucking face because they just want to be around me. I had two or three people who told me the truth no matter what. And that saved my fucking life, nigga. I fucking love hip hop more than you. Argue with me. So don't be mad at me for calling him a knight. <laughs> I hate you if you think that I hate you, then I fucking hate you, okay? So... Yo, welcome back to the best reaction channel on the internet, my brothers and sisters. Disco board in full effect, curtains, leaking light. You troll it, well not new, but you know what I mean. Anyway, enough about the decorations, which is none, non-existent. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so now. If you really like the content, subscribe and share it. If you like the video, hit the like. If you don't, I don't care. If you want to become a member, first link in the description, you become a Kotsoki. Enter the group, ask how it works, and you'll find out all the truth there. If you want to advertise in your small business or medium business or even a large business, for 30 seconds to one minute, I'll talk about your product, I'll advertise your company, whatever it is you do, your service, over here, email me, link is in the description, khotsabarit at gmail.com, very affordable rate, it's a fact. So now without talking further, I've recorded a few in the same t-shirt, I'm feeling lucky, so today, youngster, CPT with Shani J. Brick and mortar. New video by Youngster shot by Ilro again. Um, I'll always react to Youngster because he's actually far ahead of everybody else in Cape Town when it comes to career wise. And for that, I salute you. Even though I don't think you're the best rapper, but you're doing your thing. This is what you do for a living, and you're actually creating employment for other people. Ilro, regular job. Shani J, regular job. Sunny Boy, regular support job person. Um, so remember, if you want to send me a death threat, they have all my social medias in the link. Or in the description. <laughs> I'm not so going to talk further, Popo. Uh, take it in blood. Blood is thicker than water. Take it in blood. Yeah, yeah. Blood is thicker than water. More than brick in that mortar. You know tomorrow ain't promised. You might not get to see mortar. Blood is thicker than water. Blood is thicker than water. Uh. Blood is thicker than water. More than brick in that mortar. You know tomorrow ain't promised. You might not get to see mortar. Is that? It's dope. I like the outfit. It's a bit too blue, a bit too crap like for me. But, blood is thicker than water. You might not get to see more. You know, tomorrow's never promised. You might not get to see tomorrow. Look, nice. Like, this is what you do, nigga. We know you're gonna be hard with us. Blood is thicker than water. Huh. Blood is thicker than water. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Two parts of that blood mixed with two parts of that water. water. How do you survive trauma? Who's on the line when it's the true caller? Tortured thought that I could go forward, but the pain is more. The feelings still linger. Trying to be sorted out, they're not poor. But my own people want me to hinder. It's a vicious cycle, we caught up. Damn. Some children are born thugs. Damn. To numb the pain, they bought drugs. Cold cases full of warm blood. Yeah. I must take this back. This is hard. This is nice. This is nice. This is nice. Than water, more than brick in that mortar. You know, tomorrow ain't promised. You might not get to see mortar. Blood is thicker than water. Uh. Blood is thicker than water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two parts of that blood mixed with two parts of that water. I like how this is done, also, the red and the blue. The blood, like, obviously, he's always with his blue bandanas and wearing his blue, so he's on his old crip level. Um, but then two parts of the blood. Makes it two parts of that water. So I so I, I I'm I'm gonna assume I, am I reaching? Am I making shit up? Please tell me what am I doing? 
So is he talking about two family members and two friends? Mix that up, then what do you get? Is that what it's water, talking about? Water. How do you survive trauma? Who's on the line when it's the true caller? Tortured thought that I could go forward, but the pain is more, the feelings still linger. You know, like we never deal with our trauma. Cape Town is based on trauma. Cape Town, the majority of Cape Town is suffering from the same effects that people go that go through the war. Bombo for um, post traumatic stress disorder. Imagine being raised in a community where you see people eating each other with spades, pangas, bush rackets, burning tires, being chased by the police, being arrested for nothing, mommy getting beat up by daddy, daddy fucking people around, and just violence. People coming home drunk. So you get you you get raised in that generationally. So my father sees that. His father saw that. I see that. So what's my children gonna see? So to get past that trauma is heavy and we don't talk about it because it's normal. So we get exposed to all these things. I'm probably not talking about what he's talking about, but this is what most of us go through and not to see on a regular basis. It's nothing for us to see the cops humiliate the man, stripping him naked, just to search him in the street and he's got nothing. It's nothing for us to see a man being humiliated in the street, beat up by the whole community because he touched a little girl. And kids see this at a young age. There's more people when people are fighting, watching, kids included, than people when they're spreading a message of positivity. So that type of trauma that we have within us, that we grew up with, that we carry on to the next generation. You know the people that's begging by the robots with a little baby girl? Asking you for money. That girl sees that what the mother does the father comes home drunk he beats the wife up the mother doesn't leave the husband because she doesn't have a fucking choice that girl thinks that's what love is one eternity later maybe i'm going off topic but i like this Gonna be sorted out they're not poor but my own people want me to hinder it's a vicious cycle we caught up and also like this thing, man, where we brick my car off the whole time. I know you look at what I'm saying and if, and if I'm talking about you and I don't know what you're doing, it's easy for you to think that I'm breaking you off. But in fact, I'm telling you the truth. Okay? If I don't like what you do, it's just me not liking what you do. I'm not breaking you off. Whenever I say this, cuck, I always give you some positive message to build with. Always. And I don't have to extend my hand and then still send you a private message to tell you, check it, this is what's happening and this is what I think. Don't get too upset. Listen to what I'm saying. So why we fight? Because we don't get that many opportunities. Imagine four families no? living in a massive place where there's no, there's just freedom. This is like 1600s. We just love. The land is nobody's. Everybody just loves, right? They get enslaved by white people because that was the white people that enslaved them. They live in a little area this small and this land is big and they are forced to to live there, four families, right? And then they take the men out, the four men. They go out and they work, they get paid in alcohol, they come back. They get food, they get water, they get cut clothes, but they get fed, fed um, paid with alcohol. They come back, they abuse the women and abuse the children. That happens for years, until the kids grow up. Then the boss comes and he's one man. These kids are going to fight for that one opportunity to leave that area, right? That little place where they live. To get their job to also get paid with alcohol and continue the cycle they don't know anything else do that from the 1700s all the way to 2022 if if somebody comes and says one of you are going to get this one opportunity to change your life forever we are going to fight tooth and nail to fuck each other over to get that one opportunity that's unfortunate the reality of what's going on in our communities and our societies I say our communities because, because for a colored person to be successful is to leave the fucking ghetto. Why can't we teach the people? This guy's creating so much work for so many people. Do you know what I mean? One person gets successful and starts a business. doesn't matter what the business is. He then creates employment. With music comes so much work. I've been saying this for so long. But, but our ego and our arrogance and our refusal to, be, to not know... The only way we grow and learn is by not knowing. If you admit you don't know, you might be able to learn from somebody who does. But if you refuse to admit that you don't know, you will never learn from somebody who could teach you something and then get you out of that fucking area that you don't want to live in. There was music. If you're fucking humble and sit down for five to ten years, you can learn how to create jobs and change people's lives. 
forever, nigga. Forever. I know I'm going on a fucking rant, but the song makes me talk that. I'm children of born thugs Damn. to numb the pain they bought drugs, cold cases full of warm blood. Damn. I don't know where you grew up, right? Where I grew up, drugs is fucking normal. Like again, that war cry by EJ and, and fucking crowbars made me fucking cry because I know where I come from. You don't know where I live and where I'm from. You know what I mean? Where I come from. I'm not supposed to be who I am. I'm not supposed to be where I am. I made it the fuck out, but I still give back to the where I'm from. All I want to do is see how people fucking make it. Some people are born to... You don't understand. Been stealing since you were five years old, brother. The lifestyle that some of us live are just... Unfortunately, I'm not a fucking idiot. So I could get out, but I don't think my son would be able to. And I have bruise. It's still they caught in the cock. They can't get out. Water. Uh, blood is thicker than water. Uh, a lot to go see my photograph. I don't know why the pooks I'm dropping so much frames. Nowadays I got haunting pics. Family members get Is that Jono? Double cross, DNA isn't always thick. Nah, They'll sell you out for autograph. Limited pairs of a Jordan 6. Damn. The only one that you can trust is God. The devil coming up with all the tricks. Woo. I grew up with a thug's love. Educated by the hustlers. Yeah. See the world through a bus trip. Walk streets with a blood drip. Damn. Gas masks for the gun smoke. Uh. Diabolical cutthroat. Uh. John Doe die unknown. Mafioso. Yo, John Doe also. I remember. I like the number, it's actually making me very emotional, you know? I wear my heart on my sleeve, nigga. I just love fucking Cape Town hip hop so much, and this nice part of Cape Town hip hop. You don't understand the amount of respect that I have for, for him for how hard he works. He's stuck with rap, right? I decided to not just stick with rap to do something else in my life. But I love hip hop so fucking much. Those of you who just talk poos. Come have a conversation with me, man, and get to know what to do. Even Celeste. Like, I love that fucking lady so much. She does so much for Captain Rap. But she just works on my puss. There's so many people who I've broken bread with, who I've built with. Who I try to share, like... We just don't acknowledge and respect and, and, and just talk cuck. For no fucking reason. John Doe, you know? I remember walking through Somerset Mall, because that's where I'm from. Huh? Seeing him work at that one skate shop. So talking with him, we're going to connect and work on some stuff. And then... And then Brad's dead. Ben Sharper, Captain. First time I met him, I decided I don't want to rap anymore, 2006. I saw him perform with um, Archetypes and Dream and Scarp at the Armchair Theatre in OBS. And I quit rap. I met him through a girl named Zinzi. Zanzile. Um, I saw Ben Sharp again at the Summer Splash Festival in Stellenbosch, organized by, I can't remember the Rasta's name, but Blixem Strau was also there, um, as he needed to come perform there, so where Oli became the drummer for the first time. That week, like, I, I haven't used drugs for 10 years, no, no, I call. You know, none of you know me when I use drugs. None of you. None of you know me when I was in prison, when I lived that life. Um, seeing Ben Sharper uh, smoking crack, using heroin, drinking methadone like it's fucking juice with a bra of mine, Christian Struble, who's acting like a white poos now. Um, and knowing that he's not going to live long. And then nobody cares. Everybody's just feeding those nigga drugs. And I knew it was going to, like, it's fucking obvious. There's nothing I can do, you know? 
Zenzi died. Isaac Newton even spending time with that nigga, you know. And what makes me sad, right? My life changed because I had people around me tell me the truth. And those who couldn't tell me the truth, I cut them the fuck off. I don't need people gassing me up and lying to my fucking face because they just want to be here on me. I had two or three people who told me the truth no matter what. And that saved my fucking life, nigga. So take a look at around, look around at the nice is with you. What are they telling you? I'm gonna stop fucking being gay about all this guy now. But it hurts. When liars who know me or think they know me, because I know you. Take me for a poos. And I'm glad I'll never be the person that I used to be, you know? Even though I'm not the person that I want to be. And none of you know the person that I used to be. The people who do know that have phones and aren't on fucking YouTube because they can't fucking afford it because they in the pool. Take a blood oath, ride or die, no run flats. Drive by, shoot hubcaps. No money for the ragarets. They be stealing from the blood banks. Zombie land is the undead. No vacay, no club med. Just anarchy and bloodshed. Rain check, rivers run red. Bodies drop for the bloodshot. Sounds louder than punk rock. The world's. I'm gonna give this fucking song a heart. I'm not gonna react anymore. I'm just fucking. Can we all just work together? Can you just fucking sit back and look at what it is that I'm doing? I'm just being honest with all of you. Because that's how we get better, you know? Also, I entertain. But I just love fucking Cape Town Hip Hop. And this gets so hard. Like, Youngster is one of the best rappers in Cape Town because he's a whole package. Marketable, he sells. I don't always like how he raps or what he acts to be. But that means fuck all, you know what I mean? Let me know what you think, man. RIP all the people in the comment section. Shout out to them. And then also give the people props who are still alive now. You know? Don't, like, message them if you have them. If you don't, drop it in the comment section. You know, I fucking love hip hop more than you. Argue with me. This has been me, Rick Lodi Otten Gott, on the best reaction channel on the fucking internet. South African reacts to Brick and Mortar by Youngster CPT featuring Sanny Shannon J. Link over there for the full video. Safety boots.